intimacy is really about getting to the getting there. It's not getting there. Okay, and by what I mean is that the foreplay and the time that you spend with a woman to really get to understand not only her her needs, okay, but really her mind and her body okay, is essential because that is really where you get to the point that you can have close intimacy. Mm -hmm. Intimacy is much more than penetration. It's much more than dilation, let's say, okay? Intimacy is, is an innate feeling when two people get very close. Stop! Like these two. And <laughs> But at the same time, they realize that what they have is not just that moment. It's all going. So that's what we're Creativity is a lot of things, okay? It's your tongue, it's your finger, it's your... It's, it's the, you know, whatever pe your toes, okay? Mm -hmm. It's the touch, it's the feel, okay? And then, then foreplay, really, it's so foreplay, to speak. Okay, when we say, and foreplay is, again, taking your time to understand what your partner feels when you touch them. So it, that's basically what it is. Then creativity can be a lot of things, okay? Whether it's toys, whether it's lotions, lubes, it can start with something as simple as a massage um, and can work from there. But it has to be something that you really want to develop and move into in order to create a more wholesome love life. Correct. And I think too, more so than anything, that like you said, you have to get to know. Oh yeah. Don't just go in for don't just try to oh, no. do not put no noodle in me. No. I don't want no wet noodle. No. no, no. And don't if it's like this, I don't want it. I need it to be like this. Thank you. You gotta be right, okay? And that's another thing. Them the young bucks, you gotta get in shape. Okay, I look at these little young dudes and wonder, you know, come on, you got high blood pressure, you you know, you eating wrong, you you know, you don't exercise, whatever you're doing it, please understand it's it's mental and physical and if you're not physically able to perform you know, it shows. It really does. And and they be wanting to go to the gas station get that gas station yeah, pill. No, man, that stuff is, only thing that's going to do is jack you up for a minute. Only, and then worst of all is this, the residual effects, okay, is that when that stuff is in you for an extended period of time, you can do hard, you can do serious damage to your organs, okay, and it's not worth it. You you know, I mean, there are very natural ways to, to get better. Everybody on the, you, you heard of the honey pack? Yeah. That's natural? Yes, it is. If you really want to get natural, corny go weed. Yep. Okay. You can smoke that. You can smoke that. Okay. I really recommend people, especially men nowadays, using ashwagandha. Oh yeah, okay. I got that. I got ashwagandha. Ash I got horny go, go uh, weed. Ashwagandha, horny go weed, um, are, are very are really excellent. And if you you know I mean if you get serious, <clears throat> Himalayan shilajit, okay, is a really good product. Okay, and and what it does. It helps your immune system and your gut health, okay? And, and what you need to understand is your erection is really based on your vascularity, okay? And that's mm -hmm. blood flow. And so the more blood flow you have, the better you're going to be as far as not only the firmness, but also the elongation, okay? And those are the type of things that will help you. But again, it, it starts with you being in the right mindset that, you know, it's not just about you performing for 30 seconds. It's, you know, for the long haul. And let me and let me let me just say this. If you're not in shape, women, we need to work out with our men. Thank you. Let's go walk in. We could go to the gym together. And that builds intimacy too. Oh, big time. That builds that intimacy really too. Builds time. Cause okay. when you when you get down there and do that push up, push up and you put put your lips on me, oh, oh thank you. my lord, no, I does. might give it to you right there hey, and there. Thank, it does. Oh, hey, look, from for, hey, from a guy who's worked out his whole life. Trust me, it makes a huge difference, okay, in your relationship when you and your partner work into that same physical realm, mm -hmm. okay? Because it, it, really, what it is, it, it builds that that bond. And when I say the bond, the horm the pheromones that you're releasing during that workout it, is immense, okay. In addition, in addition to not only the endorphins, okay, that are being secreted, okay, but then the adrenaline. And so all of that together in that moment, it really can become very, very erotic. But again, then you get that muscle pump going. That's Ooh. how you and your partners really feel that closeness. Hey, baby, I'm not sending my man to the gym without me. Mm. I'm not doing it, daddy. I'm not doing that. Well, hey, again, you know, get I'm off not, the couch and get going. I'm not doing that. That's we going to listen. You. I'm not sending. You're not going without me. No, I'm going. Well, and see, that's what you need. I'm going. That's what he needs. That's a and I'm going to smell your sweat. Right. And I'm going to kiss them sweaty lips. See, there you go. Because... <laughs> She ain't finna do it. You ain't finna be getting all fine and sexy for her. No, 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 no. 
all them hormones and hormones and what else? What's Endorphins. That? All that belong to me. <laughs> Give me mine. <laughs> Especially that adrenaline. You want that adrenaline. That adrenaline keeps that, you going. That's still. Like, like, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> I stop. <laughs>